Hey guys, it's Keith here with a very special vlog. Um, I'm here in New York, back in my old room. I don't know if you guys remember my old room. This is what it now looks like. Um, my parents have converted it into a guest room, so it's messy over here because of me. I didn't make my bed, and then I have all my stuff on the floor. And <laughs> fortunately, I made this a really quick trip for everything I um, needed for this like five-day trip fit in my Cabin Zero. Um, this is my new bag, my Cabin Zero bag. What's really cool about this bag, by the way, is, um, where is it? It's over here somewhere. It's on one of these tags. But like, if I ever lose this, it has like, um, a lost and found tag on it. Oh, here it is. It's not the actual thing. So I'm not gonna show you my, um, code. But look, like if I, if it's ever lost, it's like, if found, please, um, go to that site and then you can report that it's lost. So anyway, my entire room. Um, has been converted into storage. So yeah, that's how my parents are making use of my room. Anyway, the real purpose of this vlog is um, uh, I'm here in New York for the Frozen on Broadway grand opening and I'm here for like the the after party and everything. I got an invite from my friend. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, this is my getting ready. So um, I have to change into a suit and everything because it's black tie. I'll be parting it up later. I obviously can't record during the performance, but I'll give you guys a review after. And I think this video will pr pretty much focus on me getting there. It's snowing. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know that I'm so lucky right now that I'm even here in New York. I had to take a flight out early. Oh, that's not a good view. That's my, that's my neighbor's side. They already shoveled. But ugh, I guess I'll show you my outside area. But like, over here, it's snow. There's snow everywhere. So there was a blizzard last night. Yep. So, uh, uh. so there was a blizzard last night and my original flight was canceled. So anyway, I was supposed to arrive this morning, but I arrived yesterday because my flight, well, my flight was canceled and I had to like scramble and find a new flight. And now I'm here before, I got here before-ish the storm started. And now we have like, 12, 15 inches of snow outside, depending on where you live. I think I have like 12, uh, 12 inches outside. But I'm here, now it's time to go to Frozen. Hey guys. Okay, so now I'm in the city. I'm in Times Square, ta-da! As you can see all around me, this is what Times Square looks like, in case you guys don't know. Um, I ha got here an hour early, so I guess I'll just chill at the Disney store, see if there's anyone left that I know there. For all of those that don't know, I used to work at this Disney store. I actually started in the World of Disney, which was on Fifth Avenue, down, down over there, but they closed down. Sad face. It was actually really fun to work there. Uh, but yeah, here's Times Square for all of you those, for all of you that never saw Times Square, I guess? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just showing you guys things. Uh, but yeah, there's the Disney store, and while I'm here, I can tell you guys this is what I do for work, or at least one of the many things I do for work. So I design boards, this is what I do for Disney. I design boards for Express and American Eagle. And over there is the Good Morning America Studios. So that super sign, the ABC super sign over there. I design animations for that and also Disney Store. Um, but you're not gonna see any of my animations pop up right now since I don't have anything running on the Disney Store. But yeah, that's one of the many things I do for the company since I know many of you guys ask. But yeah, I no longer get to see any of my animations since I'm located in California now. So moving on, this is the St. James Theater, which houses the Frozen Broadway musical. Um, so this is what the outside looks like, um, decorated with their logos. And now here is a look at all of the merchandise. Um, these are the clothes that are available. There's also a lot of jewelry. Like this is not even the full set over here. There is a coronation orb, which is a replica of the orb that she uses during the coronation ceremony. There is a Queen Elsa limited edition doll. I don't know the edition size, sorry. Uh, uh, there's a Huga sweatshirt. Uh, if you don't know what Huga is, it's something you'll find out when you watch the Broadway show. Here's some close-ups of that jewelry I showed earlier. And here's that coronation orb along with the limited edition doll. 
and also gloves. And then here are some plushes, more shirts, and I'll probably do a whole video of the stuff that I got at the merchandise booth. There's also, so tonight um, at this show, opening night, they had um, an open bar. Um, but these are the drinks that are available there. And I got one of those sippy cups. And so now here's a look at the theater itself. Um, I was the first one in and it's completely empty. This is actually one of my favorite theaters. I don't know necessarily for style, but I definitely like it for how small it is. If you're on the mezzanine or orchestra, you'll automatically have really good seats. It's a quaint little theater. Last time I was here, I saw Bring It On, which uh, is one of my guilty pleasures. Uh, moving on, this is the Frozen opening night after party. So it's three floors of fun. Um, and then there's a map for you. Uh, the second floor only had a bar. The third floor is where you want to go for food. Um, the second floor also had the VIP Disney Executive Lounge, which I did get to go in later in the night, but I didn't record since I was surrounded by way too many important people. <laughs> um, this is a sample of what the food looked like that night. I believe that one was the tuna. And there were just like a couple of options here and there. This was my favorite booth, the dessert area, which were s'mores. And they had three different marshmallow flavors, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Or peppermint, sorry, it was peppermint. Um, and so like everywhere you look, um, there were, there were kind of like celebrities here and there. I'm not going to point out who I saw. Um, and honestly, I don't, I didn't go through my footage enough where I, I looked at who happened to stroll into my footage, but I won't call anyone out. But if you see somebody, there you go. Um, and then this area, this is the meatball area. But that's pretty much the entire party. It was a great party. More importantly, it was an amazing show. Um, I'll do a really quick review right now and tell you it is now one of my favorites up there with Newsies. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for that haul video with all my Frozen merchandise and also all my Japan videos that are coming out soon from Tokyo Disney Resort. Thank you guys. Bye.